This 3 News Now update sponsored by Godfather's Pizza. Order today. I'm Maya Sines with 3 News Now, here to look at what's happening now. Nebraska law enforcement could soon face more accountability and more training. Nebraska lawmakers advanced a police bill by a 39 to nothing vote yesterday. The vote came one day after a jury found former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin guilty of murder and the death of George Floyd. The Nebraska bill would require officers to get 12 additional hours of de-escalation training every year starting in 2023. The bill still needs three more rounds of approval and the governor's signature to become law. Now we asked the Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services about the vaccine rollout in Nebraska and if residents were still interested in getting them. DHHS sent over a report stating 10 of the state's 23 health districts have asked for a pause on new vaccines in an effort to manage current inventory. And I'm 3 News Now meteorologist Chris Swain. Back to the mid 40s overnight in early Friday morning. Breezy conditions, some spotty rain, but temperatures will be much warmer, well out of the range of freezing temperatures. And that's a big jump from where we started this week and the past couple days. High temperatures on Friday, back above the 60 degree mark. So uh, warmer temperatures, some clearing, winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's a look at the next seven days. We go from the low 60s Friday and Saturday. Breezy conditions to windy conditions. That wind brings a warm up though. Sunday, Monday, temperatures jump big time. Back to the 70s and even the mid 80s. Upper 70s on Tuesday, gradually coming down, but still into the mid 60s Wednesday, Thursday. We'll have to get through some rain chances there, but overall warmer in the week ahead. It's big cookie combo time. Get my big chocolate chip cookie along with the medium classic combo and the medium one topping pizza for a limited time. Big cookie combo. Godfather's pizza. Do it.